Hey everyone, I'm Mariana, this is Impression Blend, and I am here today with another movie review. We are talking about the new Russian sci-fi horror film, Sputnik. Those of you who have been around my channel for a while know how I feel about sci-fi, horror, and world cinema, and as this film check marks all three of those, there was zero chance I was going to miss it. The film centers around Tatiana, a physician brought in to observe and assess a cosmonaut, Konstantin, who just returned from a space mission that ended in a rather unexpected and violent way, a fact that is of course being kept under wraps. Tatiana soon realizes that Konstantin brought an extra passenger with him to Earth. Now, before I get any further, two things about this film. First of all, do not watch the trailer. And this is not just my regular stay away from trailers warning that stems from my personal preferences. Not only does this trailer spoil some major developments that happen well into the film, but it also shows scenes from the climax of the film in a very obvious way. Don't do it. Second, the title is a little bit misleading, or rather, the lack of translation for this title. You may think it's referring to a spacecraft, an artificial satellite, you know, this thing. But the word Sputnik, and that is why I keep pronouncing it that way, I'm not just being difficult and resisting the Americanized pronunciation of Sputnik, it has a specific meaning in the Russian language. It means companion, as in a travel companion, a fellow traveler, or even possibly a life companion. This is the meaning the original title is referring to, and the whole Sputnik satellite thing is is a play on words at best. In fact, this film is based on the director's short film titled The Passenger, which is a much more fitting title. The struggles of translation. Now, keeping all of that in mind, let's talk about the film itself. Sputnik is the feature film debut of director Igor Abramenko, and it establishes him as a filmmaker to pay attention to. What at first glance may seem as just an another entry in a long list of films inspired by Ridley Scott's Alien is actually a film with plenty to show and plenty to say. Set in 1983, the story quickly introduces us to what is easily one of my favorite things about this film, our lead character, Tatiana played by Aksana Akinshina. This young doctor is fearless in her pursuit of truth, committed to her goals, and is guided by a strong moral compass. She doesn't trust easily, she's wary of her surroundings, with good reasons, but she will tell you how it is every time and she will take responsibility for the decisions she makes. I loved her, and that theme of responsibility is something that comes through this film gently at first and a lot stronger later on. We see people do awful things and disguise them as a necessity. We see people worried about making sure others know something wasn't their fault and refusing to take responsibility out of selfishness or fear. This really spoke to me because this is something we see a lot in our daily lives. Whether it's blame shifting or the unwillingness to own up to things or the reluctance to step up, these things are by no means just a Soviet problem of the 80s illustrated by this film. This is a human flaw many of us are guilty of. This film is not a large-scale sci-fi epic. It features no mind-blowing scenes in outer space. This is a story that takes place on Earth and faces the viewers with the monster living inside a human. A small but dangerous monster that, among other things, thrives on fear. I am sure at this point many of you can draw the parallels between this and the oppressive regime that rooted itself deeply in the hearts and minds of people living in Eastern Europe at the time Sputnik is set in. And by the way, the alien design itself is pretty damn great. The film's visual style really worked for me as well, combining the coldness of architecture and interiors of the 
Soviet era with the heart and soul of the story and what it was trying to say. Also, speaking of the story, I have to admit that it took me by surprise on multiple occasions, which is something I did not expect, even though it didn't completely avoid those expected genre tropes. Aside from that certain level of predictability, which is definitely the most obvious flaw here for anyone who has seen alien monster movies before, the only other thing that bothered me was the score. I really think the music was a very odd choice here. This is a pretty small scale dramatic sci-fi thriller with your typical ominous blockbuster womp womp type score. It just did not match the story. It was overly dramatic. It was pretty generic and the film's tone really would have benefited from a quieter, more unsettling, more sophisticated type of score. Now, before I give you my final thoughts and rating, don't forget to let me know in the comments, have you seen Sputnik? Are you planning to? Have you even heard of this film? What is your favorite sci-fi film that does not rely on massive sets and mind-blowing space visuals? Also, if you're new here and you love movies, I do think you should subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I have a lot of videos coming up that I think you would enjoy, so stick around for those. Back to Sputnik, our terrifying companion from space. Obviously, the positives here by far outweighed any of the issues that I had with this film. It has an engaging story, great visual style, some shades of alien, and even a tiny bit of a rival, a lead character you want to root for, and a great balance of thrills and point of view. This is definitely a film I would recommend to my fellow sci-fi fans, given that they have proper expectations and aren't necessarily looking for a space epic. Personally, I really liked it, and I am giving Sputnik a confident 8 out of 10. Definitely one of the standouts of the year for me. Alright guys, that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below if you've seen the film already, and if you haven't, I do think you should give it a try now that you know what to expect. Just don't watch the trailer, as I mentioned. As always, a huge thank you to all of you for watching. A special thank you to my patrons who are supporting me on Patreon and an extra special thank you to the patrons whose names are on the screen right now. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, follow me on social media. All of the links are in the info box below and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.